Hello, I'm here at Super Return Emerging Markets with Alex Hunter, the CEO of Rushmore.fm and the former head of global online for Virgin America. Um, Alex, you've given us a great presentation on online marketing strategies. I want to focus on one particular point you made. The perceived wisdom is that failure is a great learning experience. It's an essential stage of evolution for entrepreneurs, for venture capitalists. I don't think you agree with that point. No, I don't. I think it's a bunch of baloney. Um, I call it the cult of, of failure, the sexification of failure. It's happened in the last two or three years that failure is a prerequisite to success. Um, it started in the startup world, the technology world, but it seems to be uh, flowing into all aspects of business. This, this incredibly inane notion that before you can succeed, you must fail, fail or have some kind of spectacular failure. Um, what frustrates me about it is, that, and it is, is two things. One, the original message from which this idea was created is learn from your mistakes. And that's a, that's a reasonably good piece of advice, although there are some that would argue that, again, that's a, a bit of a silly thing to do. You should learn from your successes. The data that you'll get from success is far more valuable and repeatable than, uh, than that you'll get from your mistakes. Um, the worst part about this cult of failure is that it's inadvertently made people afraid to take risk. How so? Because they're afraid to fail. If they think they're going to, if they, if they constantly think that everything that they do is going to become this, this failure, uh, even though they have to fail th before they succeed, they don't put the effort in to create a, a great product from day one uh, because they have to fail. Um, and then they're inadvertently afraid to take risk. And the key to, I think, to entrepreneurial success is to be not afraid of risk, not afraid to, to look at something and go, this isn't working. Uh, we need to take what we know, take what we've seen, take where we think the environment is going, and make our strategic decisions based on that, and not go, oh, it's failing, that's great, we're supposed <laughs> to fail. We'll, we'll, we'll raise another 20 we'll million. We'll raise 40 million again. bucks and we'll raise something else that's not going to be good because we haven't learned from those mistakes. We haven't learned from the environment. And I think, so Virgin is very good at that. They're very good at, at identifying businesses that aren't working, uh, starting them up quickly and ending them quickly, understanding the, all of the factors that contributed to that. Sometimes it wasn't the right timing, right uh, geography, right wrong product fit, it doesn't matter. But, but kill it quickly and then spread the knowledge they learned across the group. And that's very, very sensible. But not allowing entrepreneurs to, to take risks is dangerous and counterproductive uh, for the entire entrepreneurial community. You've worked in entrepreneurial communities both in Silicon Valley and now in London. How do you find the cultural differences between the two? So I chose uh, London for our base for Rushmore for a couple of reasons. One is it's a logical place to build a, a, a music company. Uh, the music heritage of London is, is second to none. Absolutely. And secondly, I think that um, it's the right place to build a technology from an economic and environmental perspective. Uh, I think London is on the cusp of, an, of a technology boom. Uh, there are a lot of great companies coming out there. Talent is, is there and, and reasonably priced. Um, there is now an, an, a set of, or an economy of, of institutional investors who understand and appreciate what it needs to, means to support an, an investor beyond financial contribution. In the Valley, uh, uh, by contrast, talent is incredibly expensive, yeah. obscenely expensive. Everything's expensive. Everything is expensive. Um, office space is expensive. But um, to their credit, and this isn't, I haven't been able to reproduce this anywhere in the world, they had this unique and wonderful culture of appreciating and valuing ideas, nascent whiteboard ideas before they've ever seen the light of day. They give them a chance to breathe, they give them a chance to manifest themselves into reality, and then they are, are judged. And they're judged with, by whether or not they take flight, yeah. as opposed to being crushed on paper which is a very, if you think about it, inefficient way of doing it because you can only model user sentiment and traction so far, but you have to put something up there. And see how and people see how react. The, and that, that's, the, that's one of the greatest things that has come, that's come out of the, the Silicon Valley lean startup movement is, which ironically, 
uh, is a big purporter of fail, fail fast, <laughs> is get something up there. Minimum viable product. Put something up there, and at least you'll have users and traffic and information coming in for you to make sensible, informed decisions on how your product evolves. That is the way to do it. Just try it. Just yeah. try it. I, we could talk all day, but I'm, sadly, I think this is probably the time we have. So thank you very much, Alex Hunter. Pleasure.